Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Crisp Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War Explore 12 team. Okay, so in this one, I have a pretty interesting setup right here. So let's go over it real quick. Up front, I have this doomed weapon right here, which is the doomed magi. The doomed magi is a pretty interesting doomed weapon, um, not considered by many to be um, one of the most powerful ones. But interestingly, this weapon right here is actually quite powerful. Now, the doomed magi, magi creates uh, four brown gems plus one per tempering level. Then it will give 60 armor to all purple allies. If the enemy has a doom, it will eliminate all armor from a random enemy. Now, why I like using these weapons is because of the massive amount of, um, what do you call it, uh, gem spawn or uh, brown gem creation or any particular gem creation that is able to do. Now, this one is going to be creating brown because I have it tempered all the way up. This is going to be putting 14 brown gems on the board. In addition to that, for the weapon upgrades here, this weapon actually has um, Doomed Darkness, which is drain two mana from purple enemies. Along with that, it actually has Dark, which is create a Dark Storm, Enchanting, and a small amount of Scatter Damage. Now, I like it because of those um, uh, traits right here, these upgrades, the Enchanting and the, the Dark, uh, creating a Dark Storm. Along with that, I'm using Double Scorpius. Now, this is a very expensive build. I'm not going to tell anybody in the mid or lower game anything about this team. This is a high level, high um, stats, and along with that, very, very, very expensive team. Two Scorpiuses and, of course, Urali at the bottom. And this is a simple, um, you know, the Scorpius and Urali function poison the enemy instant kill them from that poison with my scorpius troops now the main focus here is to get as much mana on the board brown mana of course and i'm do using this team in the nexus that's a kingdom to use this in every other kingdom has many troops that are um, impervious or immune to poison so thus this team won't work against them right so preferably use this in the nexus for the class, I'm using the Archmage's Hero class. Um, main reasons is because of that Mana Flare. It has gained two, per, two bonus purple mana uh, when matching purple gems. And along with that, there's a number of different things that benefits the team here because it's a purple class. Um, I have a 50% start, of course, with my Mana Source. Um, and I have Lightning Strike. And if you want, if you don't want to use that Lightning Strike, you can actually go into the class right here and adjust it and set... Um, Arcane Surge. You can actually get a, an additional bonus purple mana for matching purple gems with that. Now, for the banner here, I am using the banner from the Durgaroth faction. It is a plus two brown, plus one purple, minus green banner. Um, Murali is the only troop that uses green, and she's not going to be casting, so you get it. All right, so let's, as I said before, hop out. I was doing battle number one early, and I decided, uh, let's show this team off right now. All right, so our first aim right here is to get purple mana to the doomed um, magi. The benefit of this is, well, at the beginning of the battle, um, uh, Shale, which is an uh, epic troop from Nexus, she actually has a uh, Song of Stone. Many of the battles you're going to see her in the battle, she's going to benefit the team because of that, because she has that brown storm. It's going to allow for the doomed magi to get four plus gem matches much easier when she's on the enemy team. Okay, so of course we want to get purple. Let's go right there. And can you imagine the enemy match the purple that we were going to match afterwards? And there we go. We have our purple gems ready to go. And let's cast our Doom Magi. And there. We got plenty of 4 plus gem matches. Our troops are ready to go. Let's kill them with the first one. And then the second one. Just like that. It's a pretty powerful team. Of course, you know, certain things have to be there so as to make sure the team benefits. But yeah, it works. Let's hop into battle number three. Let's see how this one works out. First off, get purple to our Doom Magi. We didn't get a surge on that one that got our true spell ready. As you can see, um, Shell is not in the battle this time around, but we're still going to cast our Doom Magi. We have nine um, brown. We didn't get a four plus gem match. We'll still have to wait and see if we can get another one. Let's bring that down. And our Doom Magi is almost ready to go again. Right, let's match this over. And now see if we can get some purple. Where's the purple? There we go. Right there. So our Scorpius is already to go. Let's cast it. 
And you don't really have to worry about getting skull hit that much. Your troops are going to be getting armor, so you don't have to worry about the skull damage. You're going to replace that armor with fresh armor from the Doom Nagi. And yeah, that was battle number three. Let's move on into battle number four. Now, I've been looking at making this team for a few months. I you know, didn't go around to do it, and finally I got here, and I, did it, and I actually like this team. Let's go ahead and match this right there. And Shale is there, so she has that brown storm going, and boom, we got a lot of brown. Now, let's see if we can get all our troops spell ready. We can cast again. Nice. Get our other Scorpius ready to go. Now, let's kill those two bottom troops, and now these last two. Very good. And yeah, let's go into the mini boss fight. So, yeah, I see that many persons have been hitting that subscribe button. I want you guys to keep on doing that. I really appreciate you guys subscribing. And telling others about the channel, telling them to come over, telling them to subscribe as well. You know, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Let's go ahead and cast our Doom Magi. Got a lot of 4 plus gem matches. Our troops are ready to go. Now, let's take off all those 4 plus gem matches off the board. We don't want the enemy using them against us. And there we go. Now, if you're, you're going really, really fast with this team, you're getting those 4 plus gem matches, and you're getting that... Um, purple man at the beginning of the battle it can go really fast you know what i mean if you're able to get all that going quickly now let's match this over got some explosions this one again now let's see if we can get some purple there we go see if we get enough brown to get all our true spell ready nice now let's kill that one they're gonna take a four plus gem match uh he's gonna summon some troops now he didn't get to do it nice very good very good and that was the that was a mythic boss fight wow <laughs> all right let's check what's inside this chest ah orpheus and a yasmin so yeah that is the team guys let's go back out and look at this team once again let's go over it the doom magi up front the doom magi is a pretty powerful weapon i actually really give these weapons a high grade once you get them tempered all the way to 10 the amount of mana that they're able to generate is incredible all right Double Scorpius build, of course, is an expensive build. Everybody knows what Scorpius does. He deals damage to the two last enemies, and if they're poisons, the damage, the damage is lethal. All right? And he's impervious, of course. I have two of them. I actually have three. <laughs> but, yeah. And Urali is the only troop that works well with this team. Reason being, um, you don't have to worry about casting her. You just get that 4 plus gem match, and boom, you kill them out. So yeah, if you guys actually like this team, you found this informative, um, hit that like button. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, comment to let me know what you guys think about this very expensive, very pricey build. And um, yeah, if you're not subscribed to this yet, hit that subscribe button. And tell anybody else that is looking for good content about Gems of War, tell them to come on over. All right, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.